All right, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> <laughs> it's a Monday. We got a case of the giggles. My good buddy, Mike Falzone is here. Mike, welcome to the show, buddy. Let me just make sure my name is spelled right. <laughs> and yes. Got it. The Josh, lower third works. It's so good to be here. And great to see you. And uh, <laughs> and I'm so happy to be next to you yes. inside this room with yeah. your producer yeah. and this gourmet cup of coffee. <laughs> And it feels good to be here. I love everything you have going on. I already Thanks, told man. them that the you guys know this as viewers of the show, but the set is beautiful. It smells nice in here. Thanks, More man. lights than I've ever seen in my entire <laughs> life. This kind of neon drop ceiling that yeah. I've never seen before. No, that came with the room, which was very helpful <laughs> as far as filling the room with light. Now we just have to figure out the directional portion of that set. Yeah. And that set. I like that none of these lights are pointed at anything no, uh -uh. in particular. Just like, well, that was pointed from yesterday, from Friday. So this one's sort of at you. That was impressive. This, that one's right <laughs> at you. Um, this, for oh, dude, any, please, thank you. Uh, <laughs> I think getting people here at 9 a.m., like, you know, we're back. Vaccinated now, so people are like, oh, is it virtual? I was like, well, if you can come in, that'd mm -hmm. be awesome. No pressure. Yeah, but you know, but being if you want it to be good. <laughs> but if you want to be, because <laughs> like half the time, you know, the virtual stuff. It's like, uh, turn on. You got to put in your headphones. Yeah, uh, man. Hey, the echo. It's I tough. Went it's through tough. A, a year of podcasting like that, and yeah. I know that it was very necessary. Sure, and that's fine. But uh, it doesn't mean. Just because it's necessary doesn't mean it's fun. Correct. Like going to the doctor is necessary. It's it doesn't mean fun. you're like, yeah. Man, <laughs> you're paint wait. my face and go to the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Time to shape doctor in my chest there. Yeah. Like, let's go. Me and all my friends smell out. <laughs> Proctologist. <laughs> Get my colonoscopy today. Who wants the tailgate? Yeah, yeah, watch yeah, let's go. Um, we, uh, yeah, it's, it's nice to be able to have people in here. Uh, the whole office is vaccinated and, um, you know, I'm, uh, I, it's, it just feels great to be around people again. It yes, really, it does. really does. It certainly does. Uh, I, you know, even if you're not facing them and you have to face the same direction <laughs> and have a casual conversation, it does feel nice to be yeah. within. I mean, we can reach. look this way. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Honestly, man, the, all the oh, only reason the show is here is to put smiles on people's faces at 9 a.m. Pacific or wherever you are in the world. That's the only goal of this show. Great. Uh, so for an hour, we hope you smile. Listen, I say it every day. You choose positivity. So you can choose it with us. Uh, Super Chat. You can stream lab, streamlabs.com slash goodpeoplegpa. Help support the show. Starting today. For the next month, Mike Falzone, uh -huh. a portion of all proceeds, we all always a portion of all proceeds we raise here on the show. Are you flexing? Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to talk about that video because okay. it's really good. <laughs> um, we got to uh, pull that up. What, Ikaika, when we do videos that make me smile, I'll send you the link, but we got to pull up Mike's video. Um, it's just putting that on the table. That's the Hawaiian hunk. I love when I tell him things and he's just over there like, the f <laughs> yeah. Come on. Like, He's I didn't really expect to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, but um, we, uh, what were we talking about? Oh. Yeah, sorry. I distracted you. No, no, no. Oh, it's totally fine. It's Monday at the hell. Uh, after my first Mother's Day where we were, the, the goal last night, Mike Falzone, Amanda, all Amanda wanted to do for dinner was go to the Cheesecake Factory. We mm. both love Cheesecake Factory. I will, I will stand on the hill that the Cheesecake Factory consistently makes the best dirty martini in Los Angeles. Oh, very interesting. It's very, very good. The bar is always solid. The food is never bad. We got there, the one uh, here in Sherman Oaks, it was a two and a half hour wait for a table. At the corner by the arc light. Correct. Yeah, yes. that's a good one. So we went to the Mexican restaurant next door, which was very good. And they gave, the, we got margaritas and they were extremely strong. Uh, oh, that's great to know. Yeah, very that's strong. great to know because yeah. uh, we haven't been there yet, but we we do live close to there. Yeah, and um, funny story about that cheesecake factory. <laughs> Go hit it. I got married in a restaurant down the street okay. from the cheesecake factory yes. to Zoya, my wife. Yeah, she's the best. If you don't, it's your podcast with her because Amanda and I do a show on here. We haven't we haven't done it since the baby because you know it's baby. hard to do yeah, things yeah. with babies. Uh, and Ken, Ken, the officiant of our wedding, Ken Knapsack, is the co-host with it. So it was That's Ken nice. in my podcast. Yeah. Then I went to do the show on History Channel. Amanda took over my job as co-host, and she's like, I'm not leaving the podcast. And we're like, <laughs> Just so you know, I love it here. Makes sense. Yeah. So now it's the three of us, and basically Ken has become like a marriage counselor. Oh. And I think that your podcast has a very similar vibe of like the healthiness that is a loving marriage. We love each other very much. She's my favorite person. I decided last year that <laughs> I don't really... It's not going to come out right, but I don't need anybody else in my life. <laughs> Everyone is an acquaintance starting from 2021 <laughs> on, except for her. And she's just the best. She's my favorite person. Yeah. 
And uh, and I love talking to her. And we have such opposite schedules mm-hmm. now that people are back that our podcast is like the one time a week where we get like an uh, unfiltered hour of With us just other. hanging out for yeah. an hour. So it's we beautiful. just catch up and people seem to like that. And uh, we are very lucky to have yeah. a good thing. All right. So you get married at a restaurant down the street. We got married at a restaurant down the street. My best man took me to the Cheesecake Factory first. As you do. That was the bachelor party. That sounds awesome, by the way. Right before it started, because it was it was raining. We're supposed to get married in a park, and then it started raining. Mm. We're trying to figure out what to do. We called up our favorite restaurant and said, could we get married in the back? Yeah. And they said yes. So before we went there, we go to the What's Cheesecake Factory. What's the name of the restaurant? Um, the Valley Inn. Okay. Uh, it's like right on the other side of the 405. You know okay. how it's Cheesecake Factory, yeah. and then the highway, and then there's more stuff over yeah. here, Encino? <laughs> yeah. It's there. Okay, got it. We got to check it out. It's the best. We it's just the moved to the best valley. restaurant. Oh, dude. Yeah, We've, dude. I was in that apartment. You know the apartment that you've been to a couple times to shoot. The yeah, old yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. I was in that apartment for twelve years. Just that was West Hollywood. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're out. Well, good. Yeah, we need more space. Correct. And the valley's lovely, and it's, it's quiet, and it's I good for it. old people like Correct. us. Correct. Yes. Not to date ourselves, but I'm 67 years old. 74. Thank you. Happy I birthday. Lo- thank you. I <laughs> um, love being old. So we ordered drinks at the bar, and he was like, just so you know, we could go right now. We could just go. If you need to get out, we could leave. This is the time. And what I was like. What kind of a best man thing is that to say? I guess he thought that he was being a good best man and giving me an out. Yes. And I was like, have you met? Zoya, have yeah. you been around us together? Like, I'm good. I'm more, yeah. um, I'm <laughs> waiting to get out of the cheesecake factory. <laughs> provide me with an escape. Well, I, I thought when you said, is, do you want to get out now? I was like, is he not a fan of cheesecake factory? <laughs> he this brought is... me there and he was like, let's get the hell out. I mean, have you cheesecake. had the strawberry margarita? It's unbelievable. <laughs> I'm a big summer margarita boy. Oh, God, it's the best. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's called Frida, the place across the street or across the alleyway. I don't know how you call it in a mall. Uh, it's not <laughs> a street. A hallway? A hallway? Yeah. Um, that's a, there's no, uh, a walkthrough? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, it's called Frida, and they put the, their margarita, their classic margarita, knocked me. Like, last night, I finished with I look at me and I was like, I think I'm kind of drunk. And she's like, really? After one. Me too. <laughs> That's like a $25 dollar mark. I know. Yeah. yeah. And then I was like, should we do shots? It's money. <laughs> and she's like, no, <laughs> stop it. Because the old, like 19 year old Josh is in his brain. Like as soon as he gets a little buzz, like, <laughs> Does anyone want to take their shirts off? <laughs> like, is this one of those establishments where I can sit here without a shirt? Because it feels like it. All right. Right. <laughs> awesome. Uh, name here wants to know what's the name of Mike's podcast with his wife? Plug it. Uh, our podcast is called Welcome to Our Podcast. I love that. And we were able to get that name because we started podcasts a thousand years ago. Yeah. It used to be called Welcome to the Podcast. Uh-huh. To give you an idea of how early the podcast started. Mm-hmm. And then we had some like server troubles. So we had to switch servers and change the name. But we have like 300 plus episodes. This is now glued to the table. <laughs> we have 300 <laughs> plus. Got it. The paint Got is still it. The paint wet. Is, it's, a, it's a lot of lacquer on yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and for good reason. Yes. Um, but yeah, man, if you want to hear yeah. uh, two people who love each other very much talk to each other on yeah. a weekly basis. I, I mean, it, a man and I talk about Ken and I when we were doing it. We're gonna, it's, the Afternoons is coming back very soon, either next week or the week after. Uh, but um, it be, it's become like this beautiful marriage. Like the honesty that comes out on the podcast because you've got microphones in front of your face is kind of unlike anything else. Yeah. <laughs> because it's become like this marriage therapy funny thing where I'm like, Ken. Back me up on this one. He's like, I'm going to back up Amanda on that yeah, one. Was, yeah. You know, that's it's good to have a neutral party. Yes. And uh, like the reason I love talking to Zoya so much. Do you swear on this Yeah, you show? can swear. Okay. Just well, she calls me. Right. I'm not going to overdo it. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't want to do it <laughs> at all. Muffet, Max. But she calls me on my, my stuff a lot. Yeah. And I do that to her. Mm-hmm. And we're both like, there's no agenda, <laughs> you know. So it's like if I say you're being kind of whatever. Mm-hmm. She'll be like, hmm, am I being kind of whatever? <laughs> and I'll do the same thing. Sure. And I'll, uh, you know, I'll Cerebral. have. Cerebral. Yeah. And it's very nice. And that's what you're supposed It's a good partnership and it's a good back and forth. You keep mm-hmm. each other in check. And like I'll have, you know, how wacky and weird the world of stand-up yeah. comedy is. Yeah. And I'll be around certain people and I'm like, hey, I um, – have a problem with this person who does this. Yeah. Am I being crazy? Yeah. And she'll be the first to be like, yes or no. Right. And uh, that's invaluable information. I mean, honestly, I do the same thing with my wife. And when you talk about like, she's my person, I have enough people. If it all went away, 
right? And all my friends were like, we don't like you anymore. I know yes. that I would be okay for the rest of my life if I just had my wife. You got a partner, man. Right? Yes. And that's... And I, you don't need everybody else. Mm -mm. And uh, it's great to... Have I love having amazing friends. I really do. Of course. I'm very lucky to have them. Do you have a lot of friends growing up? Yeah. Um, dude, I feel like maybe this is a universal thing just as a child, but Italian-American in the Northeast, yep. it's like... Get along with everybody, totally. whatever. Yeah. And as you get older, that and this isn't a negative thing. I know we're on the positivity <laughs> report. We're turning it around to a positive thing. It's like uh, me and my friend Matt talk about the inverted triangle. Sure. It's like you start off with a bunch of friends Tons. if you're lucky. Sure. You you earn all your friends. When yeah. you're little, you play baseball, you do whatever. All the right? stuff. And then you think that it's just going to keep going like this exponentially. It's like, oh, well, I'm older and I keep meeting people. I should have more friends. Mm -hmm. But at a certain point, like maybe this is Whittle. high school or college, and it starts to go like this. Yeah. And at the end, you're left with one or Your two people. Partner. Yeah. And you got to be cool with that. Totally. Everybody grows up and they have their own lives and they branch out and they meet different people. And, you know, it's impossible to maintain this amount of it's a relationships. Lot. If it wasn't for text messages, I feel like I've lost contact with like 95 percent. Everyone, Everyone is out if text messages don't exist. Right. Yeah. I know when no one's birthday is if <laughs> Facebook doesn't exist. Correct. Yep. yep. I have the only reason I kept a Facebook account <laughs> yeah. was for birthdays. <laughs> yeah. Because I like I every time you hear about something bad, they're like, "Well, I saw it on Facebook." I'm like, "All right, right, that's where the bad." Is. <laughs> okay, so clearly it's a problem, but I also need to know when Courtney Myers' birthday is right. in seventh grade. <laughs> okay, I need to know that because she's gonna be pissed. Correct. Next time I go to Pittsburgh, it's gonna be upset. <laughs> I'm gonna, it's in July. I know it's in July. It's uh, she was my sixth grade girlfriend. It's a warm birthday. <laughs> I know that she had a pool party. <laughs> is that Nika Delaire's house? Son of a! Right. I think they both had birthdays around the same thing. Meanwhile, um, I'm like I don't know any of my friends' kids' names. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> If any of my friends are watching, I'm never going to memorize any of your kids' names it's until tough. we can have a full conversation. Uh, right. Until right. I can connect with your kid and they're like, yeah, I like that stuff too or whatever. Then yeah. I'm like, that's Josh. Boom. Or whatever. <laughs> like that kid. All right. People are begging for the coffee test. Okay. So here's the thing. Mike said, don't make me coffee on Twitter. But then, <laughs> is it stick again? There you go. <laughs> That's amazing. That's the first time it's ever happened. Hot liquids apparently are desk's foe. Uh, I'm surprised you don't have Josh McCuga. Uh, what are they called? Coasters. These things. We Josh McCoasters. Baby Yoda ones around. We have, see, we have a bucket club. Those are our glasses for the Good People Association. But you can't uh, have hot coffee in a glass thing. It'll burn your hand. Unless you put a spoon in it. We used to do that at. Uh, Archie Moore's in Milford, Connecticut. We'd pour coffee in a glass. It was a glass mug. And I was like, how does this work? Yeah. Because I watched Mr. Wizard. <laughs> yeah, I loved him. And uh, you put a spoon in it, and that conducts the heat enough to not make the glass break. Would I say, hey, try that right now where you're sitting? Mm -hmm. Absolutely I not. Do, we can't. We don't. It, it, it. But you're right. Can't put coffee in a glass. Sign away for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see how I did. This my, I had to call Ken Knapsack. And Ikaika tried first. He botched it. I tried again. I just poured the water right over top of the grinds. That's how do two of you <laughs> not know how to make it? I understand Kay. one person not being a coffee person. Mike, but I don't drink coffee. You know, you know. Go ahead. Uh -oh, it's probably is... going to be strong. <laughs> well, I'll say this. <laughs> It's not good, but I think we all knew that it wasn't going to be good. I don't think we're telling any surprises, <laughs> knowing that it's not going to be good. It tastes a little like mild battery acid. But I do, what I appreciate is the effort that went into trying. <laughs> but just know that it's not good and don't give it to, yeah. Yep, obviously the yodeler fell off the hill on this one. But um, don't give it to anybody else. And let people make their own <laughs> coffee or tell them where the drive-in Starbucks is on the way here. But I, I can't <laughs> tell you guys how much I appreciate the effort. <laughs> and I will keep drinking it out of spite. No, you won't. Don't yeah. you dare, Mike. Do not get sick on our coffee. I'm going to have runny poops. <laughs> This is like the water in my first apartment. <laughs> this is like the shower water in my first LA apartment. <laughs> I don't recognize this coffee without termites crawling around. <laughs> Do not go in there. It's nice to see a good friend again. 
Oh <laughs> my goodness. Beer. <laughs> the memories are all flooding back yeah. from termites and first coffee. This is powerful. Okay, coffee. I grew up with a mom who was a coffee drinker, a dad who was not. So my mom would just make the coffee. I was never in it. And then I feel like, do you remember? Do you, <laughs> get, give me that. Yeah. Do you <laughs> have water? <laughs> you want some bourbon? Yes. <laughs> Kaka, could you grab him some, some ice water? Maybe a box of Golden Grahams? <laughs> <laughs> you want some golden grams to chase it? Um, I didn't think. Oh, golden grams. I was thinking of um, Teddy Grams. Do they still make Teddy? Grams? Yeah, they do. Okay, good. Yeah, and I can't wait to feed them to my daughter. Yeah, man, what a beautiful I thing mean, about I can't wait for her like love of snacks because <laughs> I'm such a snack guy. What's and, your favorites? Some of your favorites? Oh man, live for Pringles. Mm. Live for Pringles. Mm -hmm. uh, Cheez Its blow yes. my mind. Yeah. Do you like the burnt ones? No. I, that's I don't I don't that's dislike weird because based on the coffee I thought <laughs> <laughs> I love the burnt ones but that's okay we're all different and that's what the positivity oh. report <laughs> is all about <laughs> Emma in chat says Mike my dynamic banter heart is happy yes <laughs> he and Steve Zarek goes to host dynamic banter another fantastic podcast two fantastic gentlemen Thank I haven't talked much. to Steve in forever um, what a legendary dude. You mm. guys are both the best. Um, very funny, man. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. Here's the thing is my hospitality. My, oh, and we got a Capri Sun if you want it. It's so far away. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want to cross. He didn't want to cross. That's a good, that's a good technical engineer. He didn't want to cross in front of the camera. He's we also, it. it's a strawberry kiwi Capri Sun if you want. Oh yeah, man. See, yeah. that's what we're talking about. What are yeah. these laser etched? Yeah. And guess what, Mike? You get to take that home. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. This is how, beautiful. How does that water taste? Better? Perfect. <laughs> tastes like water and it passed the test. God, if my mom, it has to do with tastes like water. If my mom wasn't traveling today, she's <laughs> flying back to Pittsburgh. And if she was watching the show today, she'd be so upset with me. Because you know, you grew up Italian, okay? If you tell somebody, like, hey, you know what? I, I don't need any coffee. They'll make you, they'll buy you all of the coffee. After you say, in an Italian household, after you say, I don't need any, the next sentence is, I'm not going to get you <laughs> some. <laughs> you want a sandwich? No, I'm good. Oh, I yeah. made you one anyway. You want a piece of coffee cake? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, thank you. I'm actually, I'm, I'm trying to actually watch my weight a little bit. Oh, a little piece fly. of cake. I'm going to get that fly. Just let the fly hang out, dude. It's good. That's dead. <laughs> it's okay, can you grab me some hand sanitizer? <laughs> or some, some Capri Sun on there. Oh, man. Uh, Lisa Melanson says hot chocolate, my go to. Hell yeah. Great yeah, toss. I like that. Great toss, Ike. Mm. He's a big baseball fan. You should see this kid swing a golf club. Holy moly. Hell yeah. Like a baseball bat. Oh, my God. It's unbelievable. Um, dude, I had a. Uh, what did you just say right before the baseball thing? I uh, killed a bug. No, you said coffee. You uh, said something that reminded Italian me of something. hospitality. Italian. Throw me the hand sanitizer. Throw me the hand sanitizer, you said. Fall back. No. Uh, the Hawaiian hunk. He played a lot of baseball as a kid. You should see him swing a golf club. Yeah, but that was after I had my <laughs> thought. Never mind. It's gone. <laughs> Do you want to get out? <laughs> Happen to be here. You can just go right now. You can just go right now. Oh, you were Are talking we... about your mom and making coffee. Yeah. My mom be so dis... Because here's the thing. <clears throat> Remember, like, in school, you learned math. And then all of a sudden... They introduced a graphing calculator. Yeah. And you were like, I don't know anything anymore. Yeah. Like yeah. I, my my ability to actually do long division, I'm like, done. Right? Gone. It's the same thing as the Keurig. Is mm -hmm. you get the Keurig. I know how to do a Keurig. Yeah. You, you hit it and press a button and it comes out. Keurig is the graphing calculator. It is. Of coffee. Because coffee. Yeah. Yeah. that coffee maker we got, amazing. It's great, apparently, if you do it right. I'm going to show you how after this. Okay. Me and Zoya... Uh, from the podcast, my co-host. That's <laughs> <laughs> my foul zone. Uh, we co-branded a, uh, a coffee roast okay. with the coffee roasters in Sherman Oaks nice. on Ventura. My favorite coffee place. The okay. first place in L.A. where we found our go-to everyday coffee. Yes. And they have this blend called Malabar Oh, from India, I believe. Okay. I thought it was Malibu rum mixed with a protein bar. <laughs> yes. It's just, yeah, you put it in a juicer <laughs> and an orange and it's zesty. <laughs> so uh, it's it's very beautiful. And okay. we were like, dude, we want to sell this to people. Yeah. And uh, and we co-branded this coffee. And okay. now that's like, that's our merch is we have our own oh, coffee. So I'm going to try to get you some. And I'm going to teach you before I leave <laughs> how to make the perfect coffee. I'll write it down because okay. it's not complicated. Okay. I'll laminate it because I like that. And I'll stick it on the wall. Dude, 
you are you are a lamination dude. Yeah, totally. Because it fits with the aesthetic. Mm-hmm. But um, all your guests from now on are going to have a great coffee, and you're not going to be self conscious about making it because you're going to okay. be like, "This is how you make this it." This is the Falzone blend. Yes. This is the Falzone original. The Falzone family. Zoya, hair by Zoy. Yes. Uh, which I don't have. Shout any out left. one time a yeah. studio or a salon in yeah. Santa Monica. Yeah. It's she opened up her own salon. Crushing. Yeah. During a, a big, pandemic. That's a big deal. Yeah. Her and her business partner, Jamie, opened up their own salon, and they're just And it's in Santa Monica? Awesome. Yeah. That's a tough drive from you guys. Or she just jumps on the 405. It's fine. It doesn't matter. Okay. Like, it, on the back roads, if if you go at the right time, it's 20 minutes. Yeah. I never got the, uh, this is a very L.A. conversation, <laughs> so we could wrap it up. What are but you doing here? I love the Valley, and everyone, all it. of my uh, West Hollywood friends were always like, ugh, yeah. the Valley. I was like, oh, do you not have 15 minutes? <laughs> You joke. Why don't you listen to why don't you listen to one eighth of a podcast in your car and take your a hit off your inhaler? It's one eighth of a podcast because I now will listen to podcasts one point five speed so that I can get through it. I love it. I love it. I love the one point five speed, especially I listen to a golf podcast because I'm very obsessed with golf. My one of my dream jobs is to just work at Golf Channel and Dude, be the everyman and be like, golf. so why uh what is that good? Like, do you know what I mean? Because I yeah. I've been playing golf my whole life, right? I love the game. But the professional game is so different from the game that I play, sure. which is like struggle and survive. Yeah. Dude, I would golf love really to play hard. golf with you. Let's I do it. I picked up golf during 2020. Yes. And I, I got a set of clubs. Okay. One of a supporter on Instagram, nice. his brother makes, I don't know what you call them. They go over the drivers. Okay. Like Head the driver covers. cover. Yeah. Yeah. He would... made, he was like, what do you want? It, I'll make you anything. And I said, I want <laughs> Macho Man Randy Savage yep. mm-hmm. holding a little... Uh, um, Mike Falzone? No. <laughs> that would have been so meta. <laughs> Holding a little uh, coffee creamer. Oh. The cup of coffee in a big time okay. promo. Okay. From like the eight in 1987. Sure. Yeah. And he made me a little Macho Man Randy Savage that sits on top of my uh, driver. That's amazing. It's well, amazing. I live very close to three different golf courses, all public, all municipal. Happy to go anytime. I usually play on Tuesday afternoon. So. Awesome. We'll do it. Yeah. Uh, well, Ikaika will come. He's a good golfer, too. He likes to play. And he's got one of those GoPro 360s. <laughs> and uh-huh. so we can film us doing silly stuff on the golf course. I as far it. as like That's content, baby. It's awesome. It, yeah. it sh- can we pull up the roller coaster from Six Flags last week real quick? Because yep. m- I think Falzone will really appreciate this. Also, I came up with a theme song for you today, which I know that you'll hate. Okay. And I can't be the first one that has come up with this. I'm not going to hate it more than the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> so we're already... <laughs> We're already we got a quick right super now. chat from Matt the Beard Man, the legend, who says, "I absolutely need this today. Haven't stopped laughing yet. Thanks a lot, guys." Yeah, I my, the inside of my Italian hospitality heart is ble- like bleeding. I get, as soon as the can't like it hurts because when people come over, I make sandwiches. I want to make sure everybody's okay. I make food. Like we had good friends over on Saturday <laughs> night, and I made pasta carbonara, and he's like, "This is one of the best meals I've ever had." I was like, "This is the only thing I can make for people. It's this and Italian red sauce or pancakes. I don't right. have much like versatility in the <laughs> That's kitchen." That's a great three things. Not bad, right? I yeah. can hit everything. All right, so here we are on X two. Oh, what a cool! This looks great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever been on this ride before? No, dude. It uh, it goes. Whoa! Yeah, what? right. And that camera does that. Oh, great job holding the camera. This, by the way. I mean, legend. So you're you're in this thing and you're going upside down. Upside down. It it not only does the ride go upside down, but it flips you around as well. It's like a it's like a gyroscope. It looks Remember really fun. Oh, absolutely yeah. at the at the Norwalk Oyster Festival. <laughs> I used to be in that. That's five bucks a ride. The or, Our Lady Science. of Grace Church Festival had one too. Dude, <laughs> <laughs> I was an altar boy at Our Lady of Grace. I was an altar boy at St. Louis de Maryland. Nice. Never got touched though. No, we had a no, lot no. of friend priests move away, but I never. I was never physically. I got out of Catholicism. <laughs> Yeah, right around when that they time. started lying. Yeah, and I was like, uh, okay. Um, so positivity report. Yeah, positivity <laughs> report. Let's keep it positive. No, so we're gonna go play golf. We're mm-hmm. gonna do silly stuff with the GoPro. Yeah. Um, because I love I love the game, and everybody's listen. Everybody picked up golf in the pandemic, and I think that's amazing for the sport. It's tough to get a tee time, but I really don't care because the more people that play golf, the more people I can text, hey, do you want to go play golf? <laughs> because I don't have enough. Oh, so many friends are like, nah, I don't, nah. I love the game so much. Yeah. And I just want, we went to, we, I, we tell the story all the time. Two years ago, we did stand up in Arizona, uh-huh. right? And it was our first opportunity to go to a Top Golf. 
okay? Oh, yeah. Dude. I've never been. I want to oh. go so bad. Because we don't have one here yet. They're right. building one in El Segundo. Okay. Because there used to be a golf course there, and it, they had the lights set up and everything, so they're going to put a top golf there. Awesome. And they've been, like, the El Segundo people have been, like, fighting it, which makes no sense to me. I have no idea why. But, well, so, isn't it kind of a shit show? I mean, I wouldn't call it a shit show. I would call it, like, the greatest sports bar of all time. It's a, a sports bar. It's kind of like midnight. Uh, bowling. Bowling for golf. Rock and bowl. <clears throat> yes, correct. Yeah. Uh, but I, m- uh, Ken Napsok, Mark Ellis, we're, no golf. They like it, but they don't play golf. We went to Top Golf and it changed their whole kind of That's perspective great. and stuff. Uh-huh. Fixed their swing, helped them all, whatever. Um, and one of our founders, an amazing dude named Garrett Farney, he's a golf pro in Illinois. Uh, so he hooked me up with some golf clubs because I hadn't bought new golf clubs in 20 years. Yeah. And then right after Eating History was over, I come home and I have nothing to do. And then a pandemic starts and I was like, well. Might as well just buy new golf clubs and then really go to it. Dude, the first time I went to go play golf, first of all, I was super nervous because yeah. you're a liability, basically, it, totally. if you haven't been in a while. Yeah. And I hit the driving range a thousand times before I went out. And That's the uh, smart way to do it. Gone on a course because yeah. I was just scared to hurt someone. Yeah. And uh, it was all fine. I My style is I swing like a little baby bitch okay. and everything goes straight and I have the greatest time and I'm not looking for my ball every yeah. five seconds. Okay. But the first time I went outside... And just like walked through grass that had like dew on it at seven o'clock in the morning. And I'm looking at the light coming through the the trees and it, like it's a little hazy out. And I was like, this is the oh. best. This is the best thing we could possibly be doing ever. Right now. Ever. Yeah. My favorite time because growing up, I belonged to like this this public course, but you couldn't play if you were a junior member. You couldn't play before like three o'clock, right? Because <laughs> like all the adults could play, and then junior members could go up. And it cut like I would spend all my lifeguarding money to then become a member of this thing, so that I could go out and play. So every day from like three to eight, I would play golf. So my favorite time of golf is in the evening, like magic hour as the sun is setting, like those last two or three holes where it's almost dark. Yeah, is magical. I've never played at dusk before, oh, dude. I'm only early morning boy because. At dusk, people are like exiting the course, so you can go and like tool around a little bit. Yeah, like you can play the holes how you want to kind of play it. I love it. Practice because we don't get a lot of chance. Like the driving range on mats is fine. Practicing on actual golf courses. Oh how yeah, you in the game because you, know? you only have in a driving range. You're like, oh, that was kind of a weird shot. Here's the next one. I don't have to move or anything. Right. But when you're on the course, you're just like, I got one shot to hopefully make it go Cri- over there. The pressure that puts it on it. And it's awesome. And when you let go of that pressure because you realize there's zero stakes. Zero. And you're only out there to have fun. When you're in like the confidence and having fun zone, there's nothing better no. than that. No. And I sometimes I have do a really beers, well. You know? Yeah. Chill out. It's yeah. the best. I'm telling you. Yeah. Oh, man. It's great. Peaceful guys. You could wear jewelry. You could be baby fat. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's my that dude. I used to go out when I was uh, like a teenager, and you're a lefty, early twenties. Yeah, okay. for whatever. You've been a lefty reason. your whole life. I bat lefty, throw righty. Okay, and I don't know what that is. No, that's. That, there's a term for that, and I forget what it's called. But my buddy Timmy O'Reilly, Omega. He, yeah, you, let's call it Omega. <laughs> you are you are the conundrum. <laughs> Omega dextrous. <laughs> Do you write righty or le- lefty? I write righty. Okay, so yeah. you have that weird version of ambidextrous is Omega ambidextrous. Yeah, the Omega project. Dude, I hear a lot about this alpha beta stuff. That is like, it's such a cool thing for dudes to talk about being an alpha (laughs) or a beta. And then I figured out what, what I think is an omega. And then I'm like, I'm that. (laughs) (laughs) Because the omega is the one that doesn't care about either side, right? They just kind of exist. I'm in the middle. And I was like, I didn't even know there were more than two choices or whatever. Learn your Greek alphabet. I am now omega. You guys think you're better than these guys and you argue and help me over here looking at you. (laughs) I'll be on the Omega <laughs> Island. It's like me and Mike just enjoying shitty coffee yeah. and a Capri Sun. Being like, can't everybody just be nice to each other? <laughs> yeah. What's going on here? And if not, don't bother me. I'll be golf. Please. We'll be out on the course. Um, no, I, uh, it like, it's that perfect zen. And I, t- I told Amanda, it's it's my only hobby. Like, I, you, it could be way worse. Like, I could be really into vices, right? Mm-hmm. A man, I tell a man, I'm like, listen, this is my, this is the, all that I have that is a hobby, right? Yeah. Everything else is work. Like you could consider 
our jobs. Just because it's fun doesn't mean it's not work. Is that correct? Exactly. Right. Like what we love to do is work at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. Uh, but golf is my only hobby. I know. I know. I'm never going to be a professional golfer. That doesn't mean that I that I don't try as hard as I can. We'll be on the senior tour for yeah, sure. Correct. One hundred percent. I honestly think that I missed a calling as a caddy because I I am very good at one seeing distances to picking out what you should do like i can map out a course like you wouldn't believe oh I can't, that's great i can't play it like i map it out yeah but i can see everything that's half that a of course it. yeah right um and i had a buddy a really really close friend to this day uh he played professional golf for a long time um he played a few pga tour events but never really made the tour it's so hard i mean it's like yeah it's the hardest professional sport to make 100 percent. yeah my buddy just made pro my buddy Did, jimmy mcdonald no from, way uh, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. That's amazing. And he was talking about the test you have to do. And the, it's like you have to play 32 straight rounds of golf according to these like specific rules totally. or whatever. Yeah. But I'm talking like actually making the PGA Tour. Yeah, he's a, which he, is it's, even crazy. I mean, it's insane, right? But so I always thought, I was like, I want to be your caddy. Mm-hmm. I, th- I can do this. We can. I can get you there. Right. Because one, you know me, I'm like, I'm a big cheerleader. Yes. Right? I love Very people's supportive. success. Yeah, yeah, Love yeah. it. Um, and I love... And I love the game of golf and I'm very good at like, I could have also, I think, been like a very funny family psychiatrist. <laughs> that's, that's the, the one with the really expensive like brandy yeah, exactly. next to your diploma. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. And like, hello. And I wear like a nice smoking jacket during sessions. <laughs> no shirt on. No me. shirt at all. Just the chest there coming out. I, I'm very, unth- I'm very, I diffuse the situation. I'm a diffuser, Mike. Yeah. So. <laughs> So Why don't you come in. Let's talk it out. <laughs> hey, Eric, Debbie. <laughs> Debbie. It's great to see the kids. Debbie's my mom's name. That's <laughs> my always, that's my default. My dad's name's not Eric, though. Yeah. Uh, and then, but so like, I know that on a golf course because it's so high stress. There's every shot counts. You know what I mean? Is that the golfer is already going through a million things in their head? Is I know that I can lighten the situation. I can put you in the right mood you need to be, and I can also confidence build you that if you need to make a twenty footer to win a tournament, I know for a fact that what I tell you it will help you make that putt. Like that's I, beautiful. I think I could have done that. Yeah. And we talked about it for a long time. He's like, I don't think I can take the pressure of you wanting to be my caddy. And if something doesn't go right and I don't make it, that your life is also altered. And I was like, okay, I understand that. But who don't think about me. Yeah. I'm thinking about you. You're you're there to make sure he's not thinking about you. Correct. Yeah. Right? Like that I guy's can, already in his head. I can Listen, live. Your in friend's van. never gonna make it. <laughs> I'm sure he's very good at golf, <laughs> but he's already, <laughs> he's already, hey, listen, get him a massage your cat. or something. <laughs> <laughs> you tell that he's like, are you lie. sure you could like live out of a car for a while? I was like, that's a dream scenario. Why is Park he worrying living? about if you're living out of a car? Right. You're the caddy. Mike, I have a few things in my life bring me more joy than like a local bar in a very small town. Mm-hmm. That's golf. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That is, like I go to a tournament in the middle of kind of nowhere ish, closest to a city, but you don't want to stay too far from the golf course just in case you sleep in. Yeah. And you and you're close to your tea time. You want to be close to the course. No traffic, nothing like that. What's better than like a local Bennigan's? Dude, who's that guy who had to catch a plane because he had like ten minutes until his tea time in the PG? Just this weekend? I don't follow Bryce the PGA. Yeah, 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 yeah. He had to turn around because he made the cut. What's that guy's deal? Uh, he's a madman. Yeah, he's he's number two in the world or number three in the world right now. He hits the ball a country mile. He looks yeah. like a linebacker. Uh-huh. He could play for the Steelers. Kind of looks like T.J. Watt. And he thought he missed the cut. Then was going to get on a plane, and then you made the cut, so you got to go back. And I think yeah. he finished like top ten. That's great, weekend, man. Which, I mean, he's really good. He won the U.S. Open last year, but he plays golf like nobody else because all of his clubs are the same length. Like he's a physicist. Okay. He majored in physics in SMU, and so he's trying to like figure out golf mathematically. Huh. Instead of there's a, there's an amazing he's document money balling golf correct yeah he's 100 money balling golf um, and he's kind of changed the like the way people look at golf a little bit and he's messing with some of the other players and some of the other players are like I don't need that uh, it's it's again messing like on purpose like no 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 shit? because he's hitting it so far and because he's doing certain things to bigger golf courses. Like the U.S. Open last year, he was six under. The closest guy next to him was even because he was hitting it so far. It didn't matter if it was in the rough. Because the rough at the U.S. Open is like this long. Whoa. That it's hard to find your golf ball. Yeah. Like I've played courses like that. It's very hard. 
and the next day you're very sore because you're swinging so hard to get the ball out of I the I couldn't rough. even imagine. It's hard. Like Torrey yeah. Pines down in San Diego where they uh -huh. played the US Open. When I played it in the summer, the ref was too long. It was like I lost balls just in just going off the fairway. Right. It was brutal. So uh, but he was hitting shorter clubs and he won. And like Rory McElroy, who just won this weekend, said that he messed with his swing because he was trying to gain distance. And he messed up his golf swing. And, yeah. he, and he was not swinging it well for like six months. And as a professional golfer, I mean, six months is a long effing time. And your swing is all you got. All you got. It's not like you got to stay in no. tip top shape or anything like that. No. Right? You just have to be able to swing the golf club and make consistent contact with the golf ball. Right. You got to be able put to put it where it needs to go. Play your game so you don't lose your Correct. shit. Yeah. Right. Um, Brian Jackson McClunky says, Josh, that's a good pitch for a show. The positivity psychologist. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> no that's, matter I've, what the I'm, problem is. I was so, I, I took a psych class in college. It was 8 a.m., which was stupid, but it was an easy A. Mm -hmm. right? It was the only 8 a.m. class that I ever went to consistently. Yeah. Yeah. In college, dude. it's really tough. I had German at 8.30. You speak Deutsch? No. Uh, nine. <laughs> Nailed it. She hated me, dude. <laughs> I remember when I got to Fairfield University, they were like, you take your entrance exam. Yeah. And they, uh, and that dictates what level classes you're going to go Fairfield in Connecticut? Yeah. I think I did a student film there when I was living I in did New too. York. It was terrible. It was not great. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, anyway. Keep going. Uh, so you have to take a language. So I'm like, I already took two years of Spanish. Okay. Four semesters. I'm sure. not good, yeah. but I I would like to keep learning this, I guess, because yeah. I already have a base. I went in there just and the teacher, I, I didn't know anything on the test. So I was just bubbling stuff. Sure. I took it to the professor and she was like, it was the German professor. And she was like, this is all wrong. You know that. You scored insanely low. Why don't you just start a new language? And I was like, what do you suggest? I was like, do you guys have Italian? She's like, absolutely. But you're going to want to take German because a lot of English words have roots in German. She was like, this is your heart. This is your mund, right? Eyes. Eyes is English. But I don't remember. This is just case in point. And I struggled through another four semesters of German <laughs> because she was like, it's good. Wunderbar is wonderful. Elgin. You're going to love this. <laughs> yeah. I just looked it up. Elgin, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I took yeah. German all the way through high school. Started oh. in like the fifth grade. Yeah. And I lived in Germany for a little bit. And oh, summer wow. before my senior year in high school. It was amazing. Lived in a little town called Leverkusen. It's in between Kuhn and Dusseldorf. Okay. And I can do a very good German accent. It's that's very the, good. It's the only German. That's the only like accent I do. I could do a German I, speaking English. <laughs> In that's the party. That's what ends. Well, here's how I like I come in right. I do like perhaps I talk in a German accent, but it's also all of my accents for like all of Europe. So like <laughs> yeah. Denmark, Sweden, it's all of them together. It's a German accent. Oh, yeah. I am French. <laughs> Hello, welcome to France. Uh, I like to be here. Um, so <laughs> the Italians love biscotti. I'm Italian now. <laughs> Sorry, I keep interrupting. <laughs> Great. So I get to Same college uh -huh. and I'm like, my brother's like, just keep taking German. You already know the language. I was like, I want to learn Italian. And he's like, when are you going to go to Italy? I was like, we're Italian. Yeah. We're go I would I would eventually love to retire to Italy and mm. like, live there. Open up a little coffee shop or like a little, just a place where only I make pasta carbonara the American That's way it. and people yeah. will hate it. Right. <laughs> and the I'll American go out of business. You can't get shy with Hawaiian hunk, Prince of the Islands, Hot Friday. What do you got? Are you making the coffee at this coffee <laughs> 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 No, no, no. There, it's, I get an actual Italian person and I just sit out front with my little espresso and be like, ciao. Ciao, 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 ciao. Let's go um, sipping marinara sauce. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's in your coffee? coffee? It just it's a Sunday sauce. It's but just the whole Don't week. worry about what's in the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually none of your business. <laughs> I like the What plan. is this German man doing here in Italy? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I was brought here by friends. Um excuse me, I'm actually American. <laughs> <laughs> your accent is quite weird. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man. Okay. Did you do well in German? See, that's the thing is I did really well in German. And then as soon as I stopped taking it, I I forgot every bit of it. Yeah. And it was so bad because I was getting really good at German and I should have just stuck around mm -hmm. and like minored in it and taken it all the way to the 400 level. But it just kept getting way harder. It's very hard. It's like long doing long division 
out Without loud the orally. Cut. <laughs> because the sentences, sometimes they push all their words together Dude, and yeah. a giant word is a sentence. Yeah. The one thing I did like about them is like, I'm I'm dyslexic. Yes. Not to brag so early in the morning, but I can't read. <laughs> Badass um, bitch dyslexic. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Uh, but they say a lot of stuff backwards. It's like, yes. I don't remember exactly, but it's like where everything is happening. And then at the end of the sentence, yeah. you have to stick around for a German person <laughs> yeah. during conversation because you don't know what the hell they're talking about until the end of the sentence. Yeah. So I was like, perfect. I understand this structure. Yeah. My dad tells long run on stories. You don't know what's happening until he's almost done. <laughs> so I was like, I got this. And I, it was just too much for me. It was very overwhelming. <laughs> if you can't speak German, Ben Lieb uh, is the German last name, Ben Liebich. Uh, in the chat says, if you can't speak German, do the pervy Nazi voice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's cool. It's good. Uh, yes. declined to tools. <laughs> <laughs> Where is the little tourist? Where is the little train? <laughs> Where is the little train? <laughs> I didn't hear your last words. I was like, ah, I'll, just, I'll just wing it. I think I said train. But here's the problem, Mike, is then I go in college. Instead of doing my study abroad in Germany, guess where I did my study abroad? Italy. Yeah, correct. Yeah, because okay. you're gonna if you have the choice. Yep. So we we are in class, and you're learning. You once you, when you go to Italy, I went to the University of Rome, uh, University American University of Rome. So all my classes were in English. Thank God. I mean, I couldn't have done it in Italian. Uh -huh. And we, but you have to take an Italian class. It's part of the thing. If you've never taken Italian, you have to take Italian. And I start speaking these Italian words in like perfect diction, and the guy's like, "You're screwed." And I was like, "Why?" He's like, "Because as soon as you say a word." They're going to think you're Italian and you look Italian and you are Italian. And then you get no leeway after that. None. Yeah. Because it's, I said a word and they'd be like, oh, yeah, see, I love it. And they would say, like, <laughs> you need to. Can you grazie. <laughs> <laughs> like we were in this little town called Morbeño and it's like up north near Lake Como. And I was like, oh, what a lovely town. Morbeño. And this woman's like, Morbeño. And she like gives me a hug and, and my buddy's like, what is she saying? I'm like, I have no idea. Yeah. I got nothing. And I can like sort of understand certain words because my grandparents spoke it. My great grandparents obviously spoke it. They came over. They were fresh off the boat. Yeah. But then because stupid, you know, like racists and, and people prejudiced, they were trying to smash the Italian out of you. So people stopped speaking it right. because they wanted to assimilate into American culture and only speak English. So everybody lost the Italian in my family. So yeah. my mom doesn't speak it. Dad doesn't speak it. But like their parents could speak it because mm -hmm. they spoke it at home. Right. And I would have loved if my parents could had like spoken at home bilingual because my little niece right now, my uh, brother-in-law speaks Spanish and English fluently. And so he's teaching the kids very early on, like both languages. Yeah. So if you were to say to my niece, like, you know, where where are you going today in Spanish and English? She could answer you in both. And she's three and a half. That's great, man. It's genius. That's so great. She's going to get so much further in life oh my than God. any of us. Yes. Yeah. It is and weird. And here I how... am in Italy, just like, la, 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 la. <laughs> <More bang. laughs> it is weird how um, you couldn't be, uh, I wasn't there, but in my grandparents and, and my parents' generation, it's like you were kind of like proud of what you were in, yeah. behind closed doors with your family. And then you were like, but we're all American. And now it's like the opposite of that. Yes. It's like you bring what you are in your heritage to the forefront. And then you're like, and we just happen to be just American. We just happen to live here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Jesse Roach, the legend, uh, 90s pop star Jesse Roach. Uh, by the time I left <laughs> France, a lot of people told me they had no idea I was American because my accent was too good, I guess. Humble brag. Humble I brag. like it. Blow it up. Put it on the table. Yeah. Um, yeah. But my my favorite teacher in high school was Frau Baird. Uh, I to this day, I don't know, but I wrote her like a very nice thank you note as like when I graduated high school. And when we went for a five year like German club reunion, because I was president of German club. Uh -huh. <laughs> no big deal. Uh, she still had the note on her fridge. That's and, nice. And my senior picture from high school. Was the note in English or was it in German? It was in English. Okay. Well, <laughs> nice note, Josh. We could all write notes. Botched it. Yeah. yeah. I should have put it. I didn't even think to put it in German. Because you know you what, Mike? There off? might have been errors. There might have I'll been errors. Auf Wiedersehen. bis morgen. Dude, when you were talking about trying to pick up little things that the Italian woman said, yeah. I used to do that to, like, if I saw, like, a somebody speaking German in a movie or like someone would speak German. I'd be like, speak. I, I want to see if I can at least understand you. I would go back to like the four sentences that I knew and I'm like, okay, correct me if I'm wrong. You didn't say anything about a train. <laughs> 
<laughs> Let me see if I can reverse engineer this. Yeah. Okay, tell me about where you're from. Um, you were chasing a fox through a wood. <laughs> uh, yeah. That was very... So I, I didn't catch train in there. Okay, uh, guys, I think we can get uh, to the next bar. Um, <laughs> this guy says nothing about a train. So if we see trains, we've gone too far. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh man, Mike! I, I wish I, I wish I spoke another language. <laughs> I know, me too. Yeah. Well, uh, Spanish, anything, because uh, I took all the years of German. Had I known I was going to move to California, I would have taken Spanish. Yeah, just man. makes sense. Um, I'm taking Spanish on uh, this app Babble. called Babbel, yeah. and they they sponsored the Dynamic Banter podcast. Oh, nice. So shout out one time to Babbel, oh, yeah. and uh, you wake up and you go through a couple exercises. We have neighbors who are Colombian, okay. and they uh, it's a young couple and a. They have like a two, three-year-old. They must love my coffee. Antonella. And uh, it's it's Pipe, uh, Antonella, and Monty. Okay. And they're just the best neighbors, and we got pretty close with them over uh, over 2020. Yeah. And I wanted to learn more Spanish so I can converse Very with them. Very kind of you, yeah. And their parents moved over here for oh. a lot of the, the pandemic. That's and they sweet. all hung out and helped take care of the baby and stuff like that. And they spoke no English. So I was like, I want to hang out yeah. with these people. Let them and, speak uh, to you. They were just nice yeah. to, you know, all of our failed attempts to communicate. <laughs> to with them. Aha. See, 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 see. Hola. <laughs> right? We're all saying that word. <laughs> that this is a safe space. We're all doing safe. it. Don't do it. Uh, Steven Summers just says, I wish Mike had better coffee. No, me, me too. Same. I had some before I got here. <laughs> oh, you did? Totally. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, good, 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 good. good. <laughs> don't talk to me before I've had my coffee. I like. <laughs> Put it on a mug. I'm leaving. I'm leaving the house, and Amanda's like, "Don't make him coffee." He's like, "I'm making him coffee." No, you tell Amanda what you did. I, oh, I will tell Amanda what I did. But I'm going to teach you. It's going to be great from here on. Oh man, you have the. You pour the grounds in. Yeah, I got you. We're all set. Okay, got it. Yes. Oh, I gotta get the pressure is on, uh, mm -hmm. dude. I love having you here, man. You're welcome. I obviously, love would here. love to have you back anytime. Anytime you want to come on, and I do want to get you and Steve Zaragoza on Josh Brady or on this episode. I don't care, but I think you guys will get a kick. Out I of would the love game to show. I'd love to because uh, it's very silly, just like we are. Yes. And now I have a new golfing buddy, which is amazing. Oh, dude, it's I can't fantastic. wait. Just playing golf with different people, and you really learn a lot about <laughs> a person. I do say the f word on the golf course a lot. That's okay, but not. I only yell it like once, but I'm just like, well, you know what I mean? It's yeah. when you, eh. I have, We're Italian, I get like uncomfortable. We... I understand that. And that's fine. I get uncomfortable with people who tee it up like, to tee it up. And that's just internal comedian. That wasn't even a moment. <laughs> Somebody sanitized the air. Woo. <laughs> um, dude, it's li this is literally <laughs> liquor. It's liquor. <laughs> I get, I get sprayed in the mouth. I, uh, I get uncomfortable with people who who tee it up like we're just comedians and we're going out there because we're all bad and we're going to, you know, have fun. We're just yeah. being outside because uh -huh. we were inside for a year. Yeah. We're all bad. Don't worry about it. And then you get out there and they like really get down on themselves like it's Little League baseball or high school baseball. Little League, I was having a blast. Oh, absolutely. I, by Pony League, I unfortunately was like good. Yeah. You know and then I mean? high school ruins it for ruins you because it. there's like stakes yes. and your coach is like not a teacher it's at your place. <laughs> and they bust them in. They paid them 15 bucks a game to yell at you. So uh, anyway, when people go out there and they get really bummed out, yeah, I hate it so much. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, dude, we were inside for a year and now we're like smelling the grass and yeah. walking through dew and you're like Upset. bummed out because you chipped a ball bad. <laughs> like, I don't want to, I don't need any of your So anything. well said, Mike. Yeah. So well said. Uh, I yelled at a man once. <laughs> I yelled at a man, not at the top of my lungs, but it was... It was up there. And I was like, now I'm in public yelling at a man because he's being a bummer. I don't want that. I don't want that. I want to go out and have a good time. I played with this other group of people who were just like passing around weed and being drunk. Yeah. And I was like, well, golf. this is com a completely different experience. Yeah. Emma but says you got to take Steve golfing. There it goes. It never doesn't ever. Seem, yeah, it didn't seem like. Never that. ever for any reason would I take Steve golfing. <laughs> Even if Steve drove me there, I'd be like, "You get out before we get to the park." <laughs> yeah, <we're, laughs> I don't. It's like when your mom, you're like, "Mom, can you drop me off two blocks away from school? Yeah. I don't want people seeing us together." Steve yeah. says his dad plays, and I told him that I was going to learn Spanish from Babel and go play with his dad. <laughs> 
And that's what's going to happen. <laughs> For Steve, I like this idea. Yeah, yeah no, uh, my buddy Matty Doherty, his dad, Diamond Jim Doherty, uh, <laughs> uh, straight out of Boston, Massachusetts, He, we were playing and they started, people started yelling at each other and Jim Doherty just goes, golf is about friendship! <laughs> yelled it. I'm on dance. I was, like, <laughs> I was like, Diamond Jim, you nailed it, man. That is perfect. Dude, Golf is about friendship. If you're called Diamond Jim and you don't have a jacket that yeah. says that on the back. Or are good at like darts or billiards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Like you only have a few games that you can, but you got to be pro at it. Yes. Like if someone's going to call you Diamond Jim, you got darts, billiards, maybe like a <laughs> backgammon. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> That's sure. fine. Per-cheesy. You have to have a pinky ring while you're playing whatever sport it uh-huh. is. 100%. And you're doing great. Kiss the ring. Uh, <laughs> Stacy and Brooks chimes in with the super chat. Thank you, Stacy. Been an awesome show, guys. I've really enjoyed it. Got to run now. See you all tomorrow. Take my money. Thank Bye, you, Stacy. Thank you. Um, also, again, uh, I meant to mention at the top of the show, a portion of all proceeds do go to charity. We, la- uh, last couple weeks, we were donating to the Central Coast Film Society. Uh, we got an award named for us at the, uh, at, the, at the film festival, which we were really excited about. But for the next month, Mike, it's dog month. For the next 30 Days. So Everyone who does a super chat gets a dog. Everybody gets a dog. You get a dog. <laughs> Zoya comes. You Look come under home. your seat. <laughs> you come <laughs> home and you're like, Zoya, we got a dog. <laughs> it was either the dog or this glass. It's 12 years old and it's not doing well. <laughs> <laughs> I name him the Calzone. This is like, Diamond Calzone. <laughs> this is Diamond Calzone. Uh, so for the next two weeks, we're going to be donating money to the Pasadena Humane Society. we got a dog coming in next Wednesday for the big main show. <laughs> for the guest. He's it's, it's just, it's just a dog. Uh, I'm sure tomorrow Natasha Martinez is on the show. We'll bring her dog Frodo. Uh, he has one ring to rule them all. Tight. And then uh, two weeks after that, like at the next two weeks, We'll be doing the Battle Buddy Foundation uh, that I've worked with for a long time. Uh, they help provide vets with PTSD, service dogs, and they do an amazing job. Kenny Bass and Atlas the Wonder Dog along with Chrissy. And then they're going to have a, they have a little golf tournament that I play in every year, which is super fun. Awesome. But this year is only drive, chip, and putt because you can't um, – they can't do all the guests on the golf course because of COVID restrictions. So you can okay. only do like a drive, chip, and putt kind of a situation. So we're going to go do that. We're going to live stream from there, but oh, the wireless, the golf course, and that good. This is all behind the scenes stuff you don't need to know. This is like me making the coffee. So good. This is how you professionally host a show, Michael. Right, hopefully uh, the tournament's better than, yeah, than this. <laughs> so, again, help us raise some money. And we do have a, a we're going to do a big, like, <clears throat> mi- like fundraising night where uh, Ikaika gets to wax my body. Mostly just my back and part of my chest because I made him shave his head into a mohawk a little while back for charity. How was that? He looked awesome. We called it the Alohawk. Mohawks are, are cool, but it's a tough life to get out of. <laughs> You know, like there's an awkward stage where you got to be like either I'm bald now yeah. or. Well, he buzzed his head. And now look at him. I mean, his hair grows back. Like I a, think you look like great. a bush. Yeah. Okay, yeah I need a new haircut. Though. Show, show your face. Yeah. Let's get him on Come camera. On. I can't see him. Yeah. There he is. Look. At yeah. Him. See, that's nice. That's a full head of hair. That's what your hair looks like when you grow out a, a mohawk. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. You got the swirl on the front mm-hmm. and you look beautiful. He's the Hawaiian hunk for a reason. The great hunkino, the Sultan of Swart. I just gave him all the Sandlot nicknames just <laughs> about Hawaii. <laughs> Dude, that's a pretty easy out. If you can't think of a good nickname, yeah. Diamond Squint. <laughs> Diamond Squint's Paladino. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ikaga, let's do some videos that make me smile. And then, oh, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. Sorry. I always forget it sometimes. Uh, Mike, do you want to hear a dad joke? Yes. I have to. Wait. Always. Okay. I'm a dad now. Uh-huh. So you can get that. Knock, knock. I'm a dad. <laughs> I've written some that, that have not gone well. Uh... <laughs> My, uh, uh, oh, I've said this one on here before. Okay. <laughs> Mike, yes. have you heard about the chocolate record player? No, I have not. Sounds pretty sweet. <laughs> That's <Yes>! great. <laughs> That's great. I love it, dude. I'm perfect audience for, yep. for dad jokes. Yeah, because there are, there are bad audiences and there are good ones. And yeah. you are, listen, you're a great audience for everything, I but especially it. dad jokes. I loved it. Uh, all right, let's do some videos that make me smile and then we can get out of here. That's great. Good. It's good. It's good. It's good. <laughs> okay. Now watch this. How great is TikTok? Yeah. And I've it's the best. About it every day since. He gets out of his car. He puts his dog's sunglasses back on. Yeah. Gets back in the car. That's just good dog dadding. The dog lost its sunglasses. <laughs> out the window. The dad gets out perfectly safe. Yeah. At a red light. <laughs> oh, and man. It's got to be Arizona. No regard for his own sunglasses nope. on top of his head. No. Nope. That's just good dog dadding right there. Do you think the dog started like crying when they dropped? Probably. Oh God. Oh don't, God. Don't you think the dog should maybe if he's gonna stick his head out the window, maybe like goggles or something that like you can maybe put around it so he doesn't lose them again. How do you attach goggles to a dog? Have you ever seen a dog goggles? 
Like dogs that ride motorcycles with the goggles? I want to say doggles, but I won't. <laughs> no, I um, think that's the correct terminology. No, but you... Do Should, they... Should we start our own line of doggles? Yes. Okay, all right, good, good, good. Uh, but they have like a... They got no... Back neck? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I think it's more of like a... They clip it to the hair maybe, or maybe it's like under... It's like maybe like a diaper kind of a... Th- not like, like a, a di- muzzle? Like a muzzle, I but with I wish there was sunglasses. a computer around here so we could figure out exactly how doggles work. <laughs> Hold on. I'm just, just going to show you. <laughs> Dog because I'm curious. Goggles. How do doggles work? Because even the sunglasses don't go over the dog's ears. Yeah, look. There's okay, so they strap around the chin, the chin. which makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Also, that dog looks cool as hell. <laughs> it is dog. You can't go, just pull up dog in goggles on Google. They all look super cool. So they do look really, really cool. I mean, see, yeah. See, here's like that one. Yeah. There you go. I think that's cool. Yeah. I think that's the 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 technique I was talking about. Maybe not as, as cute as glasses. Go to the go to that one right in the middle there with the dog in the snow. This one. Yeah. That one. That's good stuff, man. Oh. Whoa, that has a camera on it. See? Boom. That's great. That's the hazmat dog. Yes, correct. And that dog is living the dream. Yeah, go to that one. Look look at that dog. Dude. (laughs) And this one? Look at this one. Look at that dog. Yeah, that's very cool. That's like a 1980s Oakley. I mean, this one's America. Yeah, I love that one. And then... That dog looks happy to be there. Really happy. Oh, look at this guy. Yeah. Going swimming? Yep. Come on. That dog's a drowning hazard for sure. (laughs) And these oh, guys hanging out. That's dude. like a group in a Warren Miller video. The group with the and when the first time I see my boys after quarantine, <laughs> just ripping is it the up. Meme. <laughs> How's the Dell Monster doing? The Del- Dell Monster. Delman. Oh, I don't know. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Been at his house, I guess. I haven't seen him. I haven't oh, seen man. that kid in like two years. Oh. All right, let's uh, let's go to the next video. Here, watch okay, this. Great. Have More you seen dogs? this? No. More dog videos. I mean, there's so many. It's dog month. Yeah, great. Look, so this dog's just chilling out, drinking out of the pool, but this dog is zooming by. Yeah. Just trying to catch the, the That dog's house. like, I told you 14 times there's an easier way to do this. <laughs> look at him looking at him like, hey, stupid. Yeah. Man, dogs, uh, water makes dogs crazy, huh? Yeah, he, apparently. <laughs> and it just doesn't stop. They make their own games out of stuff. Dude, have you seen the, the videos of the dogs <laughs> pressing buttons to communicate with yes. humans? Yes, holy cow. How does that work? I don't know. We can't learn Spanish, and that dog, the dog just learned how to communicate dog with buttons. buttons. More food, more. Yes. <laughs> please, mommy, leave. <laughs> All right, what's next, Zika? The time my mom tried Ver. 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 VR, watch this. this. We, play, yeah. we oh, played this no. game. We played this game. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> so dangerous. I'm thinking about the time my mom tried her. What game is that? Wait, so, uh, you can't go, what super was that? hot. Yeah, super hot. So basically, you're playing like a slow motion version of John. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> come on, man. All right, turn off the sound. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to laugh at this one because I've done this. This Dude, has been me. This so poor good mom. Being attached, being Ooh. attached because she has a cord. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Look at her go. Bam. <laughs> and the dog is like, I told you. I told you all this was going to st- happen. I told, stop it. Stop making my mom do this. All right. Nice. What's next? You guys can't. Watch. Now, this dog is living the dream. Yeah. Have you ever seen a dog on a trampoline before? No. I like doing human on a Look trampoline it. And things? there's this little girl. And this is what I want my daughter. That's why we need to get a dog and a trampoline in like a huge outdoor area with woods, apparently. Dude, dogs protecting little kids and playing so cute. with little kids. Look at them. Yeah. <laughs> Loves it. Kind of showing the little girl how to have fun. You got it. Yeah, you got to roll over on it. Like, dude, you're not doing fun stuff. Yeah. Like this, do this. <laughs> Land on your neck, dude. <laughs> Invite your friends over. Pretend you're wrestlers. You can, have to do it. Can you do a backflip on a trampoline? Never, ever. Oh. Never, was, ever. I, I love a good trampoline. That's my neighbor said one. my body works. And then we tried to jump off the roof, and my mom caught us, and they threw away the trampoline. Yeah, well, that's how you die. That's how you, that's how you get rid of your trampoline. Um, All right, what's next, Ikai? Dude. All okay. right, watch this. you got to turn up the sound of this one. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> Dude, what nationality do you have to be for your mom to, to not, not murder <laughs> you after that? Murder. Is my mom, if my like, this mom looks like she's dressed up, ready to go out. Ready to go out. Right? 
and now you have destroyed her life. No, she every just time did I her see hair. A, yeah. You're, every time I see a video don't like do that, this to your I'm mom. like, the mom's in on it. Yeah. Because my mom would have back elbowed me like a yeah. UFC fighter. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like that f- reverse kick where the guy got knocked out? Yeah. 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 And then she just mom. walks away and does something else. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Crazy. Uh, now, you can pull up Mike Falzone's work video on uh, TikTok. Can you? It's just at Mike Falzone. Yes, that is correct. No, no, no. On TikTok, it's... Mike Falzone Comedy. Mike Falzone Comedy. Yeah. Because I, I had at Mike Falzone, and then I forgot my login. <laughs> and then I didn't use it for three years. <laughs> has TikTok been around that long? I think so. Okay, yes, it so has. That, it's the first video. It's the first video. This thing went viral. Dude, I so uploaded you gotta turn this up twice. The... To look cooler during sex. Not for health reasons. No, good. Have sex and look cool at the same time. <laughs> but you should work out because it, it's healthy for your heart. That's right. Live longer. Have more cool during sex. But <laughs> looking cool during sex doesn't really matter. You it's... gotta look cool all the time. Right? <laughs> you work out because it's, it's good for you. It's good to look cool during sex. It's even cooler when you're healthy. Whatever. That's right. I trust you. Okay. There's a difference. You're not going to look cooler if you're sex. I'm built different. I'm cool. Thank you. <laughs> nice clip. Do you wear do you uh, wear a clip in your hair when you work out? Yeah. Okay. I'm a big headband guy. Headbands are good. Mostly for just sweat. I don't have any hair to hold back or anything. Cuz you here's the thing, Mike. You are like D Wade. You, you are at the borderline now of cool soccer guy hair. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Cuz sometimes your hair has been longer where it's more rock star. Right now you're cool soccer guy hair. Yeah. Cuz like, you could put you... the shoestring around. Yeah, dude. It's pretty sick. I I always wanted to have cool long hair. Yeah. And then I remember seeing a picture of myself doing stand up with long hair. I'm like, I became exactly what I wanted to be. This yeah. is perfect. No. Everything has extra yes. after this. I mean, and you got such a healthy head of hair whereas me it just Thank you. You know, listen, there's two types of Italians. <laughs> there's yeah. ones that can make coffee and have hair, and there's ones that can't and don't. Absolutely. And if that's one no. thing we've learned from today's positivity <laughs> report, that's great. And as a little game, uh, sitting at home, why don't you choose <laughs> who you think we're talking about? <laughs> Dude, to be totally honest, and I'm going to be real, Hit it. I had a spot back here. Cause yeah. I had like a, I had a thing removed, I okay. had like a mole removed. Yeah. And uh, and I had a little uh, bald spot back here, and uh, hair wasn't growing back, and I oh, was no. like, "Oh man, this is it!" And then Zoya got me some stuff, and and luckily some some hair grew back. But I was fully prepared to like, I was emotionally preparing myself to be like, Ooh, "There's some locks." I've always wanted long hair, and I got it, mm-hmm. and I had it for a while. So now, if there needs to be a change, then whatever. But luckily, all good now. Thank goodness. Big but, money, uh, Mike Falzone. Yeah, you but don't, don't be afraid. There are products out there. No, listen, I think that I have a good looking head. You have a good head. Yeah, and uh, I've tried a lot of the products and they've sort of worked. Some of them sort of work. Some of them are snake oil. Yeah. So. And uh, it's all different. We're also different. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't know. I've always kind of wanted to just have the buzz head. I like that was my favorite haircut. It's good, kid. man. I envy, like my hair was wet coming over here. Yeah. And uh, and sometimes and now you have pneumonia. <laughs> and now I have pneumonia. Mike, you gotta dry your hair, okay? Your mom says you're gonna get an ear infection. Everybody knows that your mom and your dad want you to dry your hair, okay? Dude. Every mom has said it. Don't leave the house; it's cold out there. You're gonna get pneumonia. It, I like that. That's the the Italian escalation is straight to pneumonia. Yeah, There's no, you're gonna get sick. It's pneumonia. Also, it's August and it's 98. I know it's outside. fine. It's just humidity. It's gonna curl. I saw a TikTok today that was a guy making a chicken parm in a deli in New Jersey. And I Um, saw something that I I was reminded of an Italian cadence that is very specific to Italian people. And it starts off very calm. And then by the end, he's fucking screaming, dude. He's screaming. And I'm like, I totally forgot how Italians, like, subject of the sentence, here's what we're talking about. Here's what we're talking about. Right. Yeah. And at the end, they're like, and then you bread both of the the chicken breasts and you, you and the oil and then you and the penne and vodka sauce. And then you get the broccoli rub and that's a sandwich. <laughs> and they're so loud by the end of it. Dude. And I'm like, how do you have the energy to it? I'm almost positive. Like my my grandma, she's 91 now. She can't hear a thing. She's got hearing aids. It's fine. But I'm pretty she's sure. Been screaming. Her own correct. Way. 
She never worked in like a factory. She didn't wasn't in a rock band or anything like that. She lost her hearing because in my family, in order to get heard, you have to scream at the dinner table. Yeah. Like the first time my wife came, she's like, "Do you guys always yell like this?" I'm like, "What are you talking about?" It's, yeah, well, yeah, not everybody's yelling. Yeah, no, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the Italian way of life. Uh, this has been the Positivity Report. Mike Falzone, get in the zone. Mike Falzone. Oh, my goodness gracious. Was that the song? Dude, do you like that? Yeah, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> There's an auto zone across the street, and it thinks that's where I go every day for work. Yeah. Because my the Google's like, 21 minutes to auto zone. I was like, I don't work at auto zone, but you know, I'm not going to correct you. Uh, thanks for being here, buddy. It's great I, to dude, see you. Love being here. Thank you. Uh, Anytime you want to come trying back. to make me coffee, and I had a great time. <laughs> and uh, we're going to play some golf together soon. As uh, I think wait. David Taylor in the chat said, Josh collecting golf buddies like Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> Never played Pokemon. But yes, I will collect as many golf buddies as humanly possible. Cause... Take pictures of us on the wild. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you all for being here. Remember, um, you choose positivity every day. It's an act of choice. Go out there, smile, spread the love. It's way easier to love than hate. Find the good. We'll see you tomorrow.